Uh, hey, my name is John Gadeke, and this is at Indukuk Lake. Uh, we're about 60 miles north of the Arctic Circle in Alaska's Brooks Range. Tough conditions, tough animals, and, uh, and yet it's a really beautiful spot. I was lucky that my parents decided to start a wilderness lodge out here in 1974. So I was kind of born and raised into the business and then expanding into aurora viewing and dog mushing and catering to a clientele that really wants to see a unique part of Alaska. I really encourage people to, um, to come out and experience the Brooks Range and, and a part of Alaska that very few people see. One of the main things I do in between seasons is set up the logistics for the next season. So you always have to kind of be thinking six to 12 months in advance. So for example, in springtime now, April, I'm cutting wood for next February, March. I try to um, get in and get up high where there's dead standing trees. I can just pile up these logs that can be up to 50 feet long and then cut them into sled lengths, put them all together, and then put the sleds together and um, take them back to the main lodge. It's a big push up here to move stuff around and I, I need to have good gear to do that. Um, the sleds I use, um, I started accumulating those close to 20 years ago. I'm still using the very first ones I bought. They, they don't break in 40 below. Um, they'll slide in the summer over gravel and in, in the winter um, on all kinds of conditions with a huge amount of weight. By harvesting from the land, the logs from the land, it really gives you appreciation for you know, every little plank and window and nail that comes out here because somebody had to make that and when you have to make it yourself, it just uh, strengthens that relationship and, and the bond with the place and uh, that's, that's a big part of it for me. Another one of the things that I really like about living out here is this, this kind of uh, change in your relationship with time. We, we are much more dependent on when the sun is shining and heating up the day. Um, when we can get water and wood and when we need to stoke the fire to maintain our own heat. So it's not that we're looking at the clock or even most of the time I don't know what day of the week it is out here. That's, that's a lot more fun than saying I gotta be at work at nine o'clock in the morning and then I'll be home at five. 